y'all. So today is Saturday. Oh, wait a minute. I need to turn right here. I thought it was one more turn coming up. I think it might be, but... Yeah, today is Saturday. It is the 18th. And... <laughs> my spirit is just floating. It is floating in the air. Floating in the air. Honey, it's just floating just in a state of confusion and where did we go from where I'm currently at so I am about to be significantly late to this job for like the third time and I'm no longer anxious anymore cuz I've done already come to terms with if I if I'm gone I'm gone if I'm not I'm not like right now, I'm just here, here, here. I'm just here. <laughs> it's like I'm just here. And that's not what a good place for me to be. So, and then I'm trying to come to terms with this upcoming schedule where I think it might be the blessing that I might need. Now, is that this fence of cutting some hours? I'm going to be down to 15, but I still make enough money where I'm able to keep my primary stuff afloat. Uh, because y'all know I got other things going on that y'all know I don't, I don't disclose on here as far as my online dealings is concerned. So between my little other side ventures um, and this, this will keep me up. For now. But then again, I'm getting more and more messages on the daily. And see, this is the bad thing about me. When I'm in a mood, sometimes it would take me a minute to reach back out to folks, even on a business level. Because it's like, ugh. I hate messaging and talking to people in a mood because I, I feel like you can even read in my text. And I don't want them thinking I have an issue with them because there's multiple people trying to hit a girl up as far as business and stuff is concerned on multiple avenues and like I said I think I'm going to try to finally entertain those offers because this right here was a sake of convenience and like I said it gave me you know a way to connect with people without really having to be fully out there it's within walking distance Although, you know, D1 don't mind taking an Uber or, you know, public transit if need be to get to a more successful job longer. But also, it's like, I'm trying to get back to a career, though. That's why, even though this pays less, I stuck with they bull skit for so long. Because it's like, I can do more so with, um, you know this as far as convenience and stuff is concerned because the ultimate goal is when I want to ease up out of here I can and with this job it's so easy only thing I got to do is just put in a week notice that's it and I'm not trying <laughs> but unfortunately it's like people be trying me some days up in here I'm still yes y'all I'm still not over that damn gonna hell for lying on me but that's the least of my troubles. It's like, I'm still waiting patiently for United Healthcare Assurance. Now they said my insurance is back active, but it's like, and then it's like technically it was never all, but it'd be my luck that when I start to have, because especially the major surgery, uh, in regards to like my hemorrhectomy and my colonoscopy, uh, that is darn going critical. That is like, <laughs> You know, it's like y'all playing with my damn life. Now, the other shit is cosmetic. It's like, you know, we can hold off as far as the boobs is concerned. Hell, I've done dealt with this Adam's apple all my life. I could deal with it a couple more months longer. But as far as, like, waking up with my struggles with my Crohn's, and there's procedures that can help, you know, eliminate that. And I'm, and I'm constantly having to hold off because it's insurance debacle. It's ridiculous, by no fault of my freaking own. 
So, I'm irritated. I'm really pissed off about that. Because it's like, well, damn, do I even feel comfortable even scheduling my damn appointment? And number one, y'all have y'all haven't gave me my new assurance card yet. It's like I'm getting all these bills in the mail that I have to now call y'all back for to be like, okay, is this going to be covered? Because I shouldn't be responsible for this part of the bill. This is supposed to be 100% covered. Y'all keep sending me bills for $100 here, $100 there. I'm like, y'all sending this shit at the worst time. During the time where a girl is trying to get her body right internally. Because externally, honey, the body is scoped, honey. Honey, I earned that damn motherfucking flesh. Honey, this body is darn on banging. I got my darn on abs. I got my snatch waves. Honey, the ass is sitting up. Now we just need the internal to be as stellar as the external. But yeah, y'all. Oh, they put that darn on builder back up fast. I'm looking at the darn on university, y'all. They don't. Oh, they not part of it down. Oh. But they darn on. You can't tell though the way they darn on. You know, cleaned everything up. I wish I could show I could uh, show y'all, but my camera ain't that good. <laughs> Later on this year, we we're gonna speak into existence a Samsung Galaxy S23, where it has the 50 op, you know, the 50 inch zoom. But right now, y'all getting this Samsung Galaxy uh, A50 instead. But yeah, y'all, those are all the directions I'm being pulled in as far as my health. Uh, now on a semi good news, uh, I've, I've noticed now looking back at my videos, I was like, okay, my hormone levels are finally calming down because I don't know if y'all noticed this, but it's been like well over a week or so, well, two weeks for me, um, a week for y'all as far as the videos is concerned, that we ain't there going dry flirt with nobody on the street. <laughs> y'all know D1 with the pheromones were crazy. Like, there will always be some sort of fine guy walking by, no matter what time of the day it was, no matter where I'm at, we will always see a little cute, and then there a couple of days we did see it, see them, and I just paid them dust, I didn't say anything, I was like, see, now you know, my mind is really darn on all over the place, and I ain't darn gonna pay no cute boy, no, well, other things also got me distracted as well. Or I should say had me uh, distracted as far as me not focusing on any other guy in that type of capacity. Look like that's about to change. <laughs> and if you know, you know. Uh, but we'll go more in detail about that with my Friday topics. Because I've decided to once again bring back dark it's almost like an annual event like i find myself doing these darn on freaky friday segments right but they be like a limited time only it'd be like maybe like a month or two and then we go on to hiatus until sometime next year but for this year we bring it back to freaky friday segments where y'all going to get the story times uh you know my past escapades we're going to be giving six tips uh in addition to some more recent things um, going on. We're gonna have some questions that I'm gonna be asking y'all. Cause honey, I don't I don't claim to know everything, honey. I'm not a sex island. Well, at least not on paper anyways. Uh, now as far as personal experience, one can say, well, Diva, yeah, you do got a doctor. <laughs> so sir, it just, it's your, your doctor is more of a hands-on doctor, honey. But, Hold on, y'all. I'm searching for my mask. Wait a minute. Where my rainbow? Oh, there we go. Well, fuck it. I go in here with the queen mask today. Oh, meanwhile, as far as this tripod is concerned, I'm at this selfie stick. Honey, I'm about to rate this five out of five stars. The other day I dropped it on the ground and I said, oh Lord, the darn on little light thing busted out, but I was able to pop it back in so easy. 
and the light is able to turn on. Now, that's another thing I'm disappointed about, though. I'm not able to test out the light day because all my work shifts have me darn gone off in the daytime, which defeat the purpose of the damn selfie stick. I was like, shit, they could at least gave me one more night shift so I could have darn gone tested this out for y'all. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna be asking y'all some questions. So some of y'all can help me out on some things because y'all will be shocked what the information I'm going to reveal to y'all that some of y'all can give me some help on. So look out for that in the upcoming weeks. Uh, but yeah, outside of that awkwardness, uh, we're going to a whole different awkwardness on a lighter note, this job. Now, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit at ease because this hoe that lied on me, she ain't necessarily here today. Although I'm hoping, because I'm noticing that we can't necessarily go by the dark on paper schedule no more. Because people who were scheduled to be there aren't there. People who darn on, um, and vice versa. People who are scheduled there aren't there. The people who weren't scheduled are there so it'd be my lunch she might be up in here and what makes it awkward is because today i'm working back on the uh on the board i believe or floating between the spud table and this time i'm hoping they finally give me somebody to work alongside because it's like how the hell you just go me on the table just by myself Ugh. But like I said, we're going to try our best to hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. So, we're approaching the end of March. So, we got, what, roughly six more weeks with this job? At least that's the goal. I'm trying my best to give them darn on six weeks. But the way these days are going, honey, I might be blessed just to darn go on, work out this good, convenient um, last schedule. They'll probably let me come on in Sunday. Because I seen, you know, it looking a little bit laissez faire come Sunday. I'm off Monday. Oh, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Or so I thought. Now we go back to this demon at this house, right? So I finally get three days off. Which is perfect for me, because if we can stick to that schedule, it gives me the ability to uh, to get my videos out more, because I have consistent back-to-back -back working. I mean, uh, you know, days of upload. Okay, biker gang. But yeah. demon are going she done threw a whole monkey in the wrench as her usual and that's why I said I'm holding on to this job for these six weeks cause lord knows uh, I hate to break it to y'all I was going to tough it on out but honey I might put the trachea shade on the back burner in exchange for the house I, I kid y'all not now I was trying to get some of these low surgeries out of the way. And then when I get to my major surgeries, you know, we'll get into the house and I can recover at my house. But I tell you, the way my mental is being affected, you know, going to and from, it's like, no, I just be better off. I'd be better off, you know, just getting into somewhere now. So we're back on the house search yet again it was off the table temporarily it's back on again and i know i keep saying that shit y'all but it'd be so freaking hard finding a place in fed now it's, it don't even be about the rent anymore 
it'll be about these all these goddamn restrictions. All you got to have is an F-50 credit card. I was like, bitch, we're in the hood. Now, I can understand if we was on the good side of town. And, you know, it was like a multi-unit apartment complex. It came with amenities and shit. But it's like, girl, we in the damn hood. You got outdated 1980s darn on wallpaper up on here. Darn on dingy cabinets, which, honey, of all things, you definitely need me up in here. Because I've, I've, I've been searching, y'all. And I have reached out on the low. Just to inquire. But yeah, some of these people request is ridiculous. Some people request tonight two months of war for rent plus up front. Now let me say this. I know some of y'all landlords had it rough. Doing the wrong or wrong. I know some of y'all got you. And don't y'all try to cancel me like y'all did with me. I have to get that word out my darn own vocabulary too. But I know some of y'all done got can I use the word shyste? I don't think shyste is a fixed term to anybody. Oh Lord, and that's a video within itself. What is and what's not a fixed term? Like I ain't no darn on gift and juke was darn on like slurs. <laughs> and I still don't know what the meaning of it is. I got to look that ish up, but yeah, I know some of y'all got shysted in regards to people withholding rent. They ain't have no excuse because it's like they was getting pandemic unemployment. They had more than enough money and they was tricking it off on gifts and tricks and shit. So, but it's like, don't punish everybody behind that shit. Especially people who got decent credit. Because by the, hey, that's another thing. By the time I really get towards the house, my credit score will at least be up to 660. It's like, now, come on now. It ain't too much of a difference between somebody with a 660 credit score versus 700. That's only a 40-point difference. But, yeah, y'all, that's my dilemma. Oh, God. I'm walking up to this door now, y'all. Let me go ahead and get ready to let y'all go. Matter of fact, before I let y'all go, let me show y'all where I'm working because now you can tell I really don't give a fuck because I'm about to flip this camera around and hit the zoom. See, you know I really don't give a fuck now because by the time any of y'all try to walk, uh, come on down here, honey, Diva Wanda boy likely to be gone. <laughs> I'll be gone. Or the fact that I work so few days now and most of my hours is before the store even opens, I no longer have to worry about somebody spotting me up in this building. Because by the time the business is open, I'm getting ready to darn on leave for the day. So like I said, this job, it has its pros and its cons. I'm going to miss a lot of the people. And then, um, unfortunately, more people that I care um, to have been on this list, I'm not going to miss. And then the irony is, the it, we, we started out with an issue with one person. I'll be damned, we ended it with a whole different other person that I did not expect. But that's how life is sometimes. Anyways, y'all, let me get on up in here. Feel free to like, comment, well, shit. <laughs> y'all be back this afternoon. I'm talking about like, comment, share, and subscribe. But it would well, still do that too if you at this part of the video. And I'll be back later. Okay, y'all up today. So, honey, this is gonna be my new darn on spot when I don't feel like um taking y'all on um walking home with me. This is gonna be real quick. That's why I'm sitting on these steps right here. Um I got sent home an hour early because there were so many people in there, wasn't hard enough to do. But it was a smooth day after all. See, once again, the power of decompression. Y'all see me bitching. See, it's a method to my madness. I bitch and complain in the morning time. So when I come in the door, my vibe is different. That way it sets the tone by proxy for everybody else to be in line with the vibe. Now, sometimes it just don't work out that way. But at least I make a conscious effort to do that. 
But yeah, y'all, it was an all girls crew up until like a half hour ago. Old boy came in. He was darn on cool today or whatnot. Now, it was a smooth day. No complaints. Wonderful. I am going to, I'm now going to enjoy these hours. And I told her because we had the conversation, y'all. I finally pulled her in the office and I said, you know what? Let's, let's just see how these hours working. Because I, 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 y'all know what's weighing on my heart about that woman lying on me. So I said, you know what? To avoid, well, I didn't say this to her, but I was thinking in my mind, to avoid having to see her as much as possible. Let's keep these dogs going 15 hours a week. And with me dealing with old boy on Saturdays instead of Wednesdays, it's different because now it's a majority girl crew with a balance of estrogen. And that's the only thing I wanted was the balance of estrogen. Things get out so much quicker when there's a perfect alignment of balance. So, yeah, y'all. He's a lot more sweet. Well, he's sweet in general, but it, it's, it's a lot more easier to work with him on a Saturday versus a Wednesday. I got tomorrow. Well, no. Tomorrow I come in from 9 to 2. I do prep tomorrow. So I'm going to have my... Oh, I found out, y'all, how the darn going to use this tripod. So I don't have to bring the super huge one because I got multiple tripods. But it was like, uh, I didn't want to go through a non-task of... You know, even though it would serve for a better video, but I got to be somewhat discreet. Because I'm already on thin ice with some of these people, including that damn... But see, she don't work tomorrow either. She's off Saturday. Honey, both of the supervisors that normally work Saturday and Sunday are off, so... Thank goodness. I can sneak around and darn gonna do some recordings for y'all tomorrow on how to break down the machine. I showed y'all a little snippet clips of how the meat is cut with the machine. But I really want to do a demonstrative video for y'all on how I break down the machine, um, the cleaning process, and then how to reassemble the machine. So if anybody is looking to work at McAllister's, you will know you will have a video reference um, of how to do that. And of course, I'm going to save those clips for my business channel as well. Y'all going to see it on here. But for the people who just need to see that only and not the extra commentary about all the bullshit that goes on at my particular job, uh, I'm going to have all the professional stuff on the business channel and then y'all get a combination of both over here. But yeah, I was sent home early today and I'm happy about that. I ordered me a salad. I got me a grilled chicken salad with our new Romesco sauce with some ranch. I got my McAllister's um, Arnold Palmer with a shot of peach. I'm about to go home and read y'all messages, respond to emails, and I'm going to enjoy myself today. So let me go ahead and take this off. But I did tell her though that, yeah, look for me to be darn on winding down within the next month. I did go more in detail about the surgery. Well, without saying what my surgeries are. I told her it'd be best for me to still leave. But at least I now, well, at least this is how the day is going. Let's hope for the remainder of my tenure here, which we kidding ourselves. Y'all know how it goes. One day it'd be good, one day it'd be bad. But hopefully during my final week or two weeks here, um, it can do, go smooth just like this day. So that's what I'm aiming for. Cause like I said, I don't want no problems with nobody. I ain't trying to come in with no animosity. Or whatnot. It's like let, let's just darn gonna get along, fix these sandwiches, and darn gonna call it the damn day. That's the only thing I want. And so with that being said, I am now about to go and darn gonna eat my lunch. I'm going to look at some of y'all messages because I know some of y'all got some comments about that recent video that I uploaded at midnight, honey. Let's just say viewer discretion is advised for that video. Uh, so I can't wait to see y'all darn old comments. I done seen a couple already. But that is it, y'all. Let me go ahead and enjoy my day, get away from this university. And I will see y'all tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow.